So now we're going to deal with a annuity that varies geometrically. So as always, we start with a timeline. So from time 0 all the way to time n. And then we're going to deal with the annuity immediate case. So the first payment starts at time 1. And then the second payment is going to be 1 plus k. The third payment is going to be 1 plus k squared. So you see that this keeps going on in a geometric sequence. So by the time it hits time n, the payment is 1 plus k to the power of n minus 1. So we want to find the present value at time 0, so right over here. So as always, we start with a geometric series. <clears throat> so the $1 at time 1, that's going to be equal to v, that's just discounting it backwards by 1 here. The payment at time 2, that's just 1 plus k, and then bring it back 2 years. And so this keeps going on. So 1 plus k squared, v3, and then it keeps going on all the way to 1 plus k, n minus 1 v to the power of n. So we're going to use the formula for geometric series, and if you'll recall, the formula is given by this expression. So a is the first term in the, se in the series, so in our case it's v. r is the uh, common ratio, so it's the ratio that each successive term increases by. So if you see that, that in order to go from this term to the, the next term, you multiply each term by 1 plus k times v. So you see that if you take this term and multiply it by 1 plus k times v, you get this term. So it keeps multi uh, each term is multiplied successively by this factor. So this is going to be the r, the common ratio. So all we have to do is just to substitute everything into this geometric series formula. So a, the first term, that's just v, and then 1 minus the common ratio to the power of n, and then 1 minus the common ratio. And then essentially we're almost done, so let's just try to rearrange this uh, expression a bit. So instead of v, I'll express it in terms of i. So same for the denominator. And then uh, for the, we can actually combine these terms. So instead of 1, I write 1 plus i divided by 1 plus i minus. So see that when these terms uh, subtract each other, you get i minus k divided by 1 plus i. So you can ignore all this now. So that's what the denominator is equal to. And then, uh, as you can see, this fraction here, we can actually flip this. So instead of writing it like this, this actually becomes i minus k times 1 plus i. So we just took that fraction and we just flipped it. And then 1 plus i multiplied by v, that's just equal to 1, right? Because v is just equal to 1 over 1 plus i. And so actually, there we have it. This is our formula. So if we have an annuity that pays n years, it's an annuity immediate that has an interest i and it's increasing by a factor of 1 plus k. This is the formula for the present value. So I actually encourage you to memorize this because this will come in handy for your exams. And then you see that when k is equal to 0, this formula reduces to 1 over 1 plus i n. So you see that if it's 0, the numerator over here is just equal to 1. And there's just i, so i minus 0 is just i. So you see that this is 1 minus v to the power of n divided by i, which is just the normal annuity. So this makes perfect sense, right? Because when k is equal to 0, each payment is just going to be equal to 1. So that's just the normal annuity immediate. So you see that this is just like an expansion of this original idea. And uh, if you're asked with to deal with these cases of annuities that increase geometrically, but you're asked to deal with payments that start at the beginning of each year, so it's annuity due, all you have to do is just to multiply this expression by 1 plus i. So just remember, if you convert something from immediate to do, just multiply by 1 plus i. So that's why this expression is worth memorizing. So once you memorize this, you can pretty much deal with all situations.